everyone, Hayden. Today I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we have a Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 laptop here. This one is, comes with a Ryzen 5 4000 series, NVIDIA GTX graphic cards. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM. I made a, a simple 30 second, 40 seconds video on how you can check your max. RAM capacity for your laptop or PC. I'll leave that link in my video description. You can check that out. And uh, so, if you don't trust what I say, you can check it by yourself and see how much RAM you can actually have on your laptop. This laptop can go up to 32 gig uh, RAM in here, and we have tested it out and it works fine. Again, then this model, exact model for this one, you can find on the bottom a sticker. It's uh, IdeaPad Gaming 3 15ARH05. That's the exact model for this one. All right, to open it up, uh, the tool that you're gonna need is a screwdriver set. I'm gonna be using an iFixit screwdriver set as these are one of the best bits out there. We're gonna use a Phillips number one. And if you get the pro set, you get an opening tool and tweezers. But if you don't want to get the open set, get the simple base in kit. And for the opening tool, we're going to be using a metallic guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with these two on hand, obviously you will need an extra RAM. You can get the 16 gig stick or 4 gig, 8 gig, whatever you want. There is two RAM dims in here available. It comes with an initial 8 gig. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna just show you guys how to install another 4 gig. All right, with all this set, let's go ahead and let's unscrew it. On the bottom cover, on the bottom side, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. The front screw, front end of the laptop is right over here. These four screws are the short ones, and the rest are medium sized screws. So keep them in two different piles so you don't mismatch them. Again, if you guys like my videos, if my video is helping you guys to do your own upgrade, servicing, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your comments that you guys leave in the video comment. I really appreciate it. Well, once we removed all the screws, so you see, I got two piles, the short ones and the medium ones. Now, what do you want to do? You want to grab the opening tool or the guitar pick, and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest. And we're going to stick it about one or two millimeters, and all we want to do, we want to just twist it, go in there, and just find yourself in there and start twisting. And if you can't get it in there, you don't have to actually start from here, you can start it from the corner, I usually like to start from the back corner by the hinges right here. So that's the most empty space. So put it in there and just twist it. You're gonna hear a big click. That's what you wanna hear, just like that. And leave it like that, go to the side. I'm not just taking the whole guitar pick in there. So I'm gonna do here, you see that tiny opening. So I'm pretty much peeling it off. Trying to have the camera in my front, I can't see it back there. So. There we go. So I see that opening. Don't push on it so it doesn't close back down. Do the same thing in the front end. Once you did the front, go to the other side. And I'm already going half through here and I feel the cover coming up. So I'm gonna stop continuing. Just gonna lift it up, wiggle it around, and it should release itself. And there we have it. So down here, let me flip this one. So down here, the RAM is located right under this heat plate, heat aluminum paper. So you can rip it off or you can just leave it in here. Nothing's gonna happen. But I'm gonna, for a demonstration purpose, I'm gonna lift this one so you guys can see it clearly. It has a little adhesive on it. You do not need to remove the battery to do this process absolutely not necessary if you want to remove the battery you just have to put these two triggers away from it push it down and the battery jack will get released but you don't need to do this to upgrade the ram or hard drives all right the ram the ram is right over here there's a two dims available dim one dim two to remove the ram is really simple all you need to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other 
and the ram will come out in 45 degree angle just like that. You do not want to yank it towards the ceiling otherwise you're going to crack the dim or the ram. All you need to do is to grab it evenly and pull it out in the same position that it came out in 45 degree angle. All right. This one is the 8 gig uh, DDR4 3200. You can put a 3200 or you can put a 20, 20, 2600, 666, 4 gig, and the bias will adjust itself based on the lower frequency. So here is an 8 gig. If you want to put the RAM in here, you have to make sure the notch on the, on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim. If you try to put it the other way around, it will not simply go through. So you want to go this way in 45 degree all the way in and then once it's all the way inside there you want to softly press towards the motherboard and watch these triggers open and close you see how it close it's straight that's what you want to see same thing for the other side this, this one is not going this way so it doesn't matter if the ram chips are facing up or down as long as the notch matches so this one the ram chips are on the other side so the notch matches all the way in and towards the model and that's how you install the ram once you finish that you can just put the shield cover right on top this was for demonstration purpose i'm not actually going to put this one that's how you do it and once you finish with that if you have disconnected the battery you straight in push it back in all right so i'm going to put this one back on top you just press on top so it doesn't slide out there we go and once you finish with that, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover and put it on top and you want to push the sides only down so you can hear that click and even the one in the back corners on the sides. You want to push really hard, you want to hear those nice clicks. And the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws on. I'm going to power on so you guys can see that it turns on. Uh, people are like, why don't you turn it on? I usually don't like wasting time powering it on. But this is what I do for a living. But for those people that want to see that you can actually power on without removing the battery, here we go. So I'm going to go to the BIOS, Lenovo. There we go. We are in the BIOS and it's working fine. As always, if you guys have any question or uh, request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And if you want to support the channel, click that like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.